How you doing? It's Sean and Brian at 280 Guys and Gear, and today we have on loan a M SAR. Um, we're gonna do a little review on it and shoot a little bit for you, and um, Brian's gonna tell you a little about it. All right, so this is the M SAR. It's the uh, the Microtech Small Arms Research Company. It's been around since about 2007. Um, just recently, I want to say it was March of 2015. MSAR decided to close up shop and not make this rifle anymore. Um, it's it's actually it's a pretty high end rifle. I, I want to say they're like twenty four, twenty five hundred dollars. Yeah. They're they're not cheap. Um, but one of the problems with them is is something that we've had a problem with this rifle and with another MSAR that we've shot is reliability issues. And I don't know if that's why they're closing shop or or whatever. But I read on their website the other night that uh, they're actually not even going to have any more customer service. So if you do have problems with your gun, you're done. Yep. You're on your own. Nice. So, but if you can get it to run, it's a really cool gun. It's super comfortable. The ergonomics on it, I think are awesome. And, um, it's, it's comfortable. I mean, the recoil is not bad. So yeah, it's, it, it's a fun gun to shoot when we, it runs. We haven't shot it that much. Um, only put a few rounds to it, but it, it seems like a fun gun to shoot. Right. Um, my understanding is basically just a direct copy of an AUG. Yeah, it's it's pretty darn close to the Steyr AUG. I so. wonder, do you know if any of the parts will swap over interchangeable? From what I understand, they do not. They do so, not. So they, they do not. Shit out of luck. Yep. So, and another funny thing is, a lot of the places I've read online say that it uses a standard AR-15 magazine. Not the case. I tried to jam this up in there and spent about 10 minutes wiggling it back out. So. But you can see. Yeah, it, it, it's got its own magazine, and you can actually see on the back end. See if I can walk up here. They are a little bit different. That's a uh, that's a uh, Gen 3 Magpul mag, and then there's the uh, the MSR mag. So they're slightly different. They're close, but not exact. I think it's even a little bit fatter, but it seems like it. Yeah. I think the key is that that hook on the back. So um, so we've got a few types of ammo that we're going to shoot out of it today. We're shooting our, our favorite Wolf. That's a, that's a given for us. And then we also have the Wolf Gold. We're going to be shooting. Right. And then some super cheapo. Uh, remanufactured uh, blaster ammo from Freedom Munitions. Mm, don't so, even have a name on it, just blaster. Just blaster. <laughs> it's like the ghetto uh, ammo. It's for your blaster. Mm -hmm. So okay. we're going to... some blaster. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to run it through, see how it works. Um, we had uh, a couple of jams with this rifle. Uh, it's all brass case ammo uh, earlier today and last two weeks when you had it out? Yeah, I shot it. It might have just, I don't know, not like the ammo, but I had... Uh, I had some wolf, um, the military mm -hmm. stuff, wolf, military right. performance or whatever. Right. It was, and uh, it wouldn't even cycle. Yeah. Um, one bang, and I had to cycle it every time, so I just put it away. Well, if we can't get it to run, this will be one of our project guns. You know, maybe yeah. it won't be the last time you see it. We can figure out what it's going to take to get it to run, since yeah. MSAR is not around anymore to help us. Yeah. This is a good, uh, good friend of ours' gun. Uh, mm -hmm. He was kind enough to uh, let us play with it. So. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's shoot it. A shoot bit. it and see what happens. Yep. Have you tried to put this in there? Or yeah, I tried. That's what I was saying. It took like ten minutes to get out, so don't stick it in there. <laughs> All right, ready? Yep. All right, going hot. Why don't you get your ears and eyes on? All right. So first round is we're gonna throw uh, the old blaster ammo in there. See what happens. Uh-oh, there we go. That bad boy's locked up. What say? It's like a failure to extract big yeah, time. Walking over there and see if you can uh, get it in the camera. So let's see if I can get that in there. Yeah, so we've got a failure to extract big time. Not sure what the heck's going on. Let's see if we can get that to clear. That was the um, blaster ammo? Blaster, yep. And, and to be completely honest, I mean, this ammo is pretty bad. It I is. Mean, Look at the cases. I don't know if you can see that or if I got too close too quick, but most of the cases on this ammo is dented up. Yeah. I mean, it still works, but. Yeah, that's what Freedom Munition sells it yeah. as that, you know, but. I mean, that could be the cause. All right, there you go. All right, so let's try some Wolf and see what happens. Was that the uh, Wolf Gold? No, this is just regular steel case Wolf. Oh, okay.
and it ran them. Yep. Let me load up this uh, the wolf gold. There you go. There's an empty mag. Oh, okay. Sure, yeah. You know you broke the chain. I broke the chain. I was <laughs> hoping you weren't going to say anything, man. I got to call you out on it. God dang. <laughs> oh, well. Someone had to do it, right? Yep. <laughs> I'm blaming the scope. The scope sucks, man. Uh, yeah. I was dead on, I swear. All right, here we go. Wolf gold. I didn't like that one either. Really? Yeah. Another one. Dang. Get it in there. Everybody's always hating on the steel case, but it looks like steel case is running pretty damn good. Yeah. Happy to see you, Sean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At least somebody. <laughs> To the negative. Yeah, that thing's tore up. So yeah, it's uh, it's crazy. But so, what are you running through there now? Uh, just the last three. Okay. Is that it? Yeah, it's empty. I don't know. Maybe we can play around with it some, uh, figure out what's going on with it, break it down, clean it up real good, see why it's not distracting them right. You all right over there? No, apparently not. Dang, got you all worked up. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. And, and uh, if somebody out there knows what the problem is or if it's a simple fix, please uh, yeah, let you us know, know. Uh, send us a message or post it. And uh, Yeah, it's crazy because, you know, it, it's 2500 bucks, 2400 bucks on a rifle, whatever. I mean, yeah. what do we have already? Two jams? Well, three jams today. Three jams, One wasn't yeah. on video. It's crazy. I mean, that thing should be able to run anything and throw at it. So. Um, yeah, and no, maybe I'll, uh, I know he has a bunch more mags. Not that I don't think that's the problem, but uh, maybe next time we'll do another review on it or, mm -hmm. or another, uh, you know, run on it. And um, I'll change the mags Yeah. and see if maybe that was the culprit. And um, I'll switch up on some ammo, see if we can get some... Uh, some different ammo. Yeah, something to cycle it. But, uh, yeah. But other than, I mean, zero recoil. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's a fun gun to shoot. It's an awesome gun to shoot. I like it a lot. Um, yeah. I just wish it would run. Right, right. For the price. Yep. But, uh, yeah. All right. Well, cool. Well, I hope you guys liked the video. And if you liked it, please subscribe. See you.